Hello friends, Daniela here once again from Wondersouls Creative and in today's video I will be showing you how to create that blurry drop shadow effect using Canva so that your images, your text or just anything you want has that 3D drop shadow effect so that it looks more, more in real life and just more professional. So let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is choose our dimensions and for the purpose of this tutorial I will be creating an Instagram story uh, showcasing one of my most recent websites. Um, so I'm just going to type in Instagram story. Perfect, then click on it um, and blink. So now all you have to do is either create your image or the text that you want to add that drop shadow to, or in my case, I already have the image, so you would just upload it. Uh, mine's in my folder section under portfolio screenshots, so I'm just going to select. This is the image that I want to showcase. And now we are just going to create um, another rectangle using the same exact shape. So you're going to go to graphics, shapes, and then this actually works, this square, and I'm just going to adjust it. Just like that. And I'm actually going to make this black. So now what we have to do is, since we cannot play with this shape right here, we cannot adjust anything, what we have to do is save it as an image using Canva as well. So I'm just going to copy this rectangle and then add a new page, paste it right here. And all I'm going to do is, um, first I need to just save this. And now all I have to do is download it as a PNG and always select transparent background. So this is a Canva Pro feature. Um, so if you don't have Canva Pro, uh, simply sign up for a free 30 day trial. And then I'm just going to select page two for now and click download. Perfect. So now I can just delete this. And actually we're also going to delete this right here. So now we are going to upload this black rectangle. Perfect, then just click on it. And then we're gonna adjust the size. Great, and now we're going to position it to the back. And now we're just going to play with the position of our drop shadow. So just move it around. Um, I want something, I want the shadow to be on, on this side for, like that. And now so that it doesn't look too harsh, all we have to do is click on adjust. And then we're going to play around with the blur right here. So we want to bring it up to um, not not a hundred, um, but maybe to twenty five. I like that, and um, it still looks a little bit harsh. So I'm just all I'm gonna do is play with the transparency, just like that. So you're just going to lower the transparency. So just feel free to play around with this. And um, maybe I'm going to make this a bit smaller. And just adjust it just like that. So I really like how subtle that is. Uh, this is one example. Something else that you can do is have the shadow all over the, the image. So just like that. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see, uh, you can just play around with the placing of the shadow. Uh, you can make it bigger, smaller. You can adjust the transparency, make it 
uh, lighter or make it darker. Um, so it's up to you. Uh, play around with this. And this applies to anything you want. You can use it for text, um, images, um, anything really. So I really hope that you enjoyed this super short and quick tutorial. And if you have any questions, please uh, just comment down below or send me an email to daniela at wondersoulscreative.com. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.